And out of the immigration crackdown, Congresswoman Federica Wilson leading a delegation inside the teen detention center in Homestead. And they got a first-hand look at it all. Local 10 News reporter Glenna Milberg is live with reaction to this. Glenna. Many for the first time, Louie. In fact, lawmakers from eight states were here for the first time. Two from South Florida have been here before. They were in a little bit less than two hours. And when they came out, they really talked much more about what they want to see happen rather than what they actually saw inside. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The delegation raised the hopes of those who hold daily vigil here, demanding to free the children and families belong together. They have to use their privilege and power to shut this place down. Nine Democrats from eight states that toured the center are trying. While these children here seem to be looked after in a clean environment, their physical appearance is not always a gauge for mental health. I came here to learn. I've been deeply moved. That's civil rights icon John Lewis of Georgia, and that's Benny Thompson of Mississippi, who chairs the Homeland Security Committee with oversight of these facilities. It's what I didn't see that bothers me the most. The distrust is clear. None spoke about the level of care for the children that they saw. All spoke of de facto house arrest of mostly Central American kids in traumatic circumstance. There have been more questions raised than answered on this visit. This group of Democrats split votes for the humanitarian aid bill the president signed Monday after months of partisan wrangling. More than a billion to shelter and feed migrants, almost three billion to care for unaccompanied minors like those brought to home and a 90 day limit to hold children in custody. We've given them billions now. So it's they need to re engineer the process. They need to remanage it. They need to get these kids out faster. The average stay at last check in the last couple of weeks here was 32 days for the migrant kids. But as long as that sounds, it has been twice that in the past. And there is no doubt that this public attention and public focus and public pressure really nationwide now is absolutely changing the process. I'm Glenna Milberg live in Homestead today, Local 10 News.